Hello Frontier Unlocked, my name is Alex, I'm one of the PR managers here at Frontier and it is my honour and also a terrifying privilege to give you a first look at uh, the wonderful new creator team tools in F1 Manager 2024. So luckily I might be a novice but I'm helped out by some wonderful experienced members of our team. Uh, so can we just kind of give a, a little quick intro who you are, what you do at Frontier? Uh, so I'm Matt, I'm the art director for the project. Uh, I'm Alex, I'm an associate engineering manager on programming team. And I'm Carlos, I'm a senior data designer. Fantastic, so without further ado, let's get started with the brand new creator team mode coming to F1 Manager 2024. I guess first of all, while I, I start setting this up, why, uh, why have we added creator team uh, to the game this year? Who wants to take that? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, the. One of the big things I think that both we as fans and, and the community want is to be able to sort of, you know, build build your dream team. Um, it's it's really fun to play the official teams, uh, but it's something that everyone dreams about is obviously building their own F1 team, and this is this is the feature that delivers it. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, speak for everyone that's an F1 fan out there. When we've all been growing mm. up as kids watching the sport, and you get really into like the idea of like creating your own team, creating your own livery and, and things like that. So uh, starting off then, so we, we obviously would change the team name there to, to Frontier Unlocked Racing, very official. Um, but we also have uh, these origins at the bottom here. So we're going to we're going to continue with the your story one. Um, but I'm, I'm just going to sort of uh, click through the different team origins here so that the, uh, the, the you know, audience back home get to have a look at all of these. But um, team or, uh, team origins, what are they? Why why are they sort of of benefit to to the player? Um, so if I can take that one, I think that's mm -hmm. um, we thought that was a cool starting point for players that uh, just want to engage with the story straight away uh, without spending a lot of time on creating their own and trying to go through the, all the uh, all the presets, all the, the 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 selections they have to make. So we did take some inspiration. Um, not going to lie, from real life um, events in F1, uh, things that we've seen in the past uh, happen. Some of the trends when there is a new team coming in, um, what they look like, what kind of resources they have. So, for example, we have their uh, automotive legacy. So that's one uh, where this is a, a team that's well established. They've been uh, in motorsports before, so they get a default kind of uh, set start. So they have, um, you can see at the bottom, they have three pips for each um, of those four um, different presets uh, or different steps in the, in the set of phase. Um, then you have others like the uh, the technical breakthrough, which takes inspiration. If you think about Braun GP in 2009, that's uh, basically what happened. So they had a really good car. Um, they had not very good, um, you know, um, resources back at HQ and back um, back home. But they had really good staff and they had competent drivers. So those kind of um, presets, those kind of stories really help the player just get into a story straight away um, and take inspiration from, from that. Fantastic. So when we're picking these team origins, obviously some of these sections of the creator team uh, section are going to be closed off. They're locked because this is a, uh, a preset team origin. It's a particular challenge that the player might want to, to take on if, if you're a fan there. And, and like you say, if the automotive legacy one that Carlos has just been talking about there sounds of interest to you, uh, then some of these elements will be will be set up for you already. We're going to go for your story because uh, everyone back at home would want to click every single button on this screen, so I am going to make sure that we do that. Uh, so we're going to move now into team setup. So this is something that you get uh, with the your, uh, you know, your own team origin uh, setup. Uh, so while I just sort of move through uh, some of the options here, um, can we can we just sort of explain a little bit about how how you would go about setting your your team up and and the sort of different restrictions you can place on yourself here? Yeah, I'll I'll have this one as well. Uh, so the yeah exactly you can just choose your own story, choose how much balance you can choose, uh, go any facilities you want and see how good is your car, and especially yes you can fine tune all your buildings um, and just select exactly what level you go for. Uh, it's worth mentioning that we have obviously three different um, three different tabs over there, and, and then you just choose within the tab. You can't apply points from one tab to another, because obviously, like, having the operational facilities, they're not going to be as, uh, well, as expensive as the development facilities, because that's, like, really expensive buildings, uh, because otherwise you can just disable helipad and build more 
design centers. Um, so yeah, this one you can just go within. I'm, I'm putting components. all my all my my points in memorabilia room. I would so go for helipad. That's my present choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be fully set up, ready for the trophies that we are 100% gonna win. Yeah. Uh, with me at the helm here. Very confident. Love it. So yeah, and then we also have the the car performance as well there. So I, I guess that affects sort of how we're how we are coming into that first race mm. weekend of the year. You know, are we right at the back of the grid? Do we do we want to be you know, 21st and 22nd moving our way right up uh, the grid order, or do we want to kind of come back in and, and surprise everybody uh, by being in that, that, front, uh, that front pack? Yeah, so this provides you effectively a, an extra layer of difficulty options as well. Um, again, it's, it's, it's all about giving the players the opportunity to create their own story, but they can also decide what kind of challenge they want to have for multiple playthroughs. So sometimes they might decide, okay, I'm going to go low on everything, uh, you know, really uh, test myself against the best, or I'm just going to have a quick a quick start, be almost as good as Red Bull, um, and yeah, just just go for it. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's kind of the, uh, the the offers we have, the choice we have. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And so I've just moved into the, the next section where we're going to pick our drivers and staff. Now, conveniently, uh, we have ended up with the Ferrari lineup for <laughs> next season paired together. Um, but we, we do have this sort of randomized option, uh, randomized staff options as well, where we can use generated drivers. We can uh, adjust this to affect all the different team members. Uh, so I'm going to go and I'm going to change out uh, a couple of drivers here. Um, so something that, that we've seen uh, after the uh, fantastic trailer uh, was released recently was people coming back to us and saying, well, uh, can we, uh, can the, the, the quality of the driver be impacted by our budget, right? So mm -hmm. I guess in the, the creator team, uh, uh, the, the sort of team origin uh, section of that, we're, we're able to, to set our own limitations, right? We can pick drivers from F2, F3, etc. But within the, the pre-selected team origins, those are going to have determined levels of, of driver, right? Yeah, so I mean, you, you can see here that you've, uh, you're, you're looking at sort of three, three star or three pip drivers. Um, <clears throat> so in this, in this particular mode, you're free to change that, uh, that rating and, and pick from people that are, you know, fantastic or just starting out their careers. If you go with the team origins, these things are more limited. So it forces you into picking certain categories of drivers. So again, there's, there's multiple ways you can play it. You can set your own limits in here, or you can pick an origin that kind of aligns with uh, with the story that you want to go with. Fantastic! I think we're going to go for Liam Lawson. We showed him off in the the, the last Frontier Unlocked, but uh, I think Lawson and Leclerc, the the two L's for Unlocked, um, and then we we also have obviously all the different staff as well there that we're able to to jump in and edit ourselves, and then we move on to powertrain selection. So. I guess with mechanical failures coming in this year, this has a much greater kind of implication for the mm. player, right? You know, last year it was a decision on power and, and durability, but the, the and the efficiency. So the durability really kind of plays into that a lot more this year. Yeah, yeah. So that's true, of course. Like now, when you have a chance of your engine failing, like you might want to consider going for more durable engine. Which one is it currently more durable? Is it going to be the Mercedes one? Yeah. But yeah. historically, it's been yeah. 100% yeah. durability, or 100 yeah. durability at least. I mean, obviously... Yes, those are not percentages, those are just ratings. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and something to flag here as well, before we get too far into this, is that this is taken from a development build, as it says at the top of the screen. So a bunch of these assets and ratings uh, may change uh, before you pick up the game uh, in July. So, right, now we need to get onto the, mm. the, the real kind of exciting thing, because I know... We, we know we've built our team throughout this this mm. sort of section. We we've put all the foundations in. This is me as like a five year old uh, F one fan sat like drawing liveries on outlines. Uh, I am going to try and recreate a kind of Frontier Unlocked brand. It's going to probably go horribly wrong, but luckily uh, the team are kind of going to talk you over the top of what we're doing here. Um, and hopefully I make something that looks uh, vaguely vaguely good uh, when it goes on track. If it's really good, we'll add it to the game, so no pressure. There's a <laughs> commitment there, chat, so uh, I hope you all hold the team to that. So we've got, uh, we can adjust the sort of colours here. So these are these are like the colours that are going to appear like across the game, right? So mm -hmm. 
the, the across the kind of like time intels and things like that. Yeah, so like like everything, we've tried to give the the player as much uh, customization as possible. So the the team colors are kind of like the top level colors. So they they affect things like your HQ buildings, your staff shirts, your garages, your pit walls, your gantries, and all those sorts of like really high level mm -hmm. team things. And then obviously you've got the slightly sort of uh, more focused stuff in, in both the drivers and the cars. So you can go crazy and make something that's um, wild and outlandish and everything's um, very sort of uh, unconnected. Or you can go for something and theme everything using the same colors and make it very coherent and branded. Uh, it's up to you again. So here we are, our, our sort of, I guess, our blank canvas to, to start from. So just talk us through. Uh, presets. What 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 are these options? Obviously, I can very quickly change the look of my car here. So with the presets, what we've done is try to give players uh, again like an interesting base they can they can start with. <clears throat> so again, maybe not everyone that plays the game is is wanting to sit here and spend spend some time designing their car, and they just want to pick something that looks good. So we've built some presets already for you, so you can you can pick from those. You can edit the presets as well. So. You might just find that they're a good place to start, uh, give you some ideas. Yeah, absolutely. But because I'm a design professional, obviously I'm going to start. Uh, and from the base, I'm going to do do everything that I can here. So we've got a mix here of the more kind of your traditional kind of uh, racing style, loads of stripes and, and block colours. But also I'm seeing some kind of like camo inspired ones here. There's, there's one with a tiger on the side, which is incredible. Um, and uh, yeah, there's there's also uh, the kind of wheel patterns as well. So you, you know, how much sort of creativity is there for for players really to to play around? And do you guys have while I'm doing this and you know hopefully getting some tips from you guys? What what's what you know what are your kind of favorite liveries that you've created uh, in the game so far? Yeah, so like obviously we try to give as much uh, as possible uh, uh, options for player to change. And you can see here you already played with different finish, so you can go for different finish, and that will obviously reflect light different, look differently in different conditions. Um, there's also, if you scroll there, you can get into the uh, carbon fiber effect, which is really fun, really cool, if you ask me. Oh, fantastic. Again, you can't change the color on that one, but it looks very cool. Uh, and probably the biggest one, uh, the most coolest effect you see, is the gradient, uh, because that one gives you like so much more power at uh, changing the colors yes exactly you can change oh wow how how the gradient looks in the car you can change if it's horizontal vertical i think there is also uh, radial um, the radial yeah. one as well um, again basically you have more than three colors you have like six colors basically in the game um, and yeah you can apply and you in the bottom you can see your recent created colors so for example you have your purple so you can apply your frontier and look purple in your car oh um, lovely I, I like that. I like this pattern lock, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, it, 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 I think I started off with with a bold choice of colours, and now I'm thinking, oh, this looks slightly more gaudy than I was probably <laughs> going for. But you know, no one can tell me that this isn't going to stand out on the grid, which is good. Um, so let's just. Oh, I, I quite like that. Actually, we can drop them on the uh, on the end there, um, and we've got the, the sort of different finishes there as well, mm -hmm. which again I really really like. Uh, that we're able to to pop those on there. So let me just pop that a little bit more red, actually, because the the frontier unlocked red. I've got nice. producer Adam in the corner, kind of pointing the colours out to me. So uh, we'll go with with that then. Um, so then that's our car livery, but also that spans across the driver's suit as well, right? So I can go in. We obviously have the preset for those as well, um, but we uh, can edit our driver's suit in here uh, with the same kind of variation. So. How kind of important was it for you guys when we started working on the creative team stuff that uh, that like level of creativity comes all the way across the, the different elements of the game? I mean, when, when we sat down and we planned it out, I think it was super important that we made sure it was as open and flexible and as accessible as possible. So we want to make sure that if you've got a very specific idea of what you want, you can jump right in and make it. Um, if you're not a hugely creative person, but you have an idea, you can still go in and express yourself. Uh, so it's uh, we, we like to call these sorts of things nested complexity. Uh, but what it uh, what it actually means is basically we want people with a you know a range of abilities and interests to jump right in. And if you look at the history of F1, I mean all the liveries and the cars that have existed through time. 
the variety is huge. It's really important that, that you know players can make their favourite one because it isn't necessarily everyone's favourite one. Yeah, I love that the the gradient stuff kind of comes across mm. uh, the the helmets as well. Really cool that we can we can change that. And these when you match these up, they kind of make like quite harsh lines, don't they? So you yeah. you can kind of add that like extra uh, that extra like line to the front there if we wanted to. But I really like this kind of like soft blend into the front. Uh, it's really cool, particularly on like the the suits and the helmets, where you can create that kind of like flowing color look. I sound like I'm talking mm. no, I'm talking about when it comes to design. I have not the foggiest <laughs> chat, uh, but no one is telling me off yet, so that must mean I'm doing a good job. No, and that, and that's the beauty of it. Of it I think uh, the ability to either make it seamless, make it make it flow, or uh, just go for something different. So you can have the the helmet looking different to the to the rest of the suit. You can have the suit looking different to the car. Mm -hmm. And it's really up to the player to, to decide what to do. So fantastic. And now, obviously, right, we've we've got the the you know the look of the car, we've got the look of the drivers and the helmets. So now we're moving on to the logo. So the kind of like you know badge of the team's identity. We've got a couple of presets here, but we do also have a little Frontier Unlocked uh, logo that we've made that. that we made ourselves, kind of uh, in, in the style of like popular British TV shows. Uh, here's one we made earlier. <laughs> um, but we can go in, we can edit all of these layers. So if I wanted to, I guess if I wanted to like change the color of these, for example, again, we have the like the little sort of color checks there that we can use. Um, and there's the sort of scale in there. But I guess if I just go through and sort of look at, at these, you know, have you seen some cause got, you know, quite creative uh, logos uh, within the internal teams at the moment? Mm -hmm. I think I've seen a couple of screenshots uh, where where people have sort of really gone out to either replicate something from the past or like created something entirely like unique to to themselves um so yeah it, it really really cool to, to see all these and like the little the little light letters as well we could put on like a little a little like frontier unlocked f um when you say little yeah that's <laughs> quite big but I, handily that caveats us into uh the fact that you can scale and move all these around and this this like scaling tool this applies to the um the uh, uh, sponsor editor as well, right? So we're not going to touch on that one in this Frontier Unlocked comeback. In a future one, we will definitely be talking about sponsorship. Um, but all these kind of like free scale uh, movement tools are possible in the, uh, the the sponsorship editor, right? Absolutely. So again, like, like we've touched on before, we've tried to make sure that there's a, a common way of doing everything. So uh, these sort of manipulators, uh, as we like to call them, uh, are common across multiple areas of the game where you have to move things around in 2D or 3D space. Um, the, and the color sort of systems are the same. Um, this is hopefully familiar to anyone that sort of worked with layer-based editors before, so you can kind of stack these things up and move them around and make ever more complex and interesting shapes. Oh yes, because there is the, the, I can see the, the uh, in the bottom corner there, we can move the layers up and down. So if you are wanting to create uh, really kind of unique bespoke uh, logos and you are much more creative than I am, uh, then you are able to do that as well. Uh, so that is our, our team logo that's done, that's on the floor there. We've got our, our beautiful car, um, which uh, I'll be honest, I think when I started designing it in my head, it might have looked slightly different to this, but hey, you know what, we're gonna roll with it. Um, so our final little bits to tweak here, we have uh, the guidance and the career difficulty. So do we want to just touch really briefly on difficulty, something that obviously came to the game last year, uh, post-launch, but people might not have seen this at all before. So uh, yeah, uh, career difficulty, how, how do you kind of choose where to go with that? Well, I think it's uh, obviously depends how much challenge you want. Uh, it's sort of worth noting exactly we've added in previous during the, pre during the previous game, and we have expanded and we have, obviously it supports new features like mechanical failures. And then of course, Team AI has also been improved a lot. Uh, so I would recommend, of course, starting with standards, uh, high if you want a little more challenge. Uh, yeah, and then go for easy. If you think you just want to see your team like winning, uh, it's, it's still not going to be like super easy, of course. Uh, it still be a challenge. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking you should go for high. <laughs> I think mm. what's nice though here is, 
because we split it into car and race, you can kind of fine tune where you want to mm -hmm. invest your time. So I think there's there's people out there that really enjoy the race element and they want to make that really hard. They don't want to focus too much on their car development or vice versa, people that are really sort of into how they develop the car. So it kind of gives you that ability to, again, fine tune how you want to experience the game. Fantastic. So as we kind of move into the the, the start of the, the season, we've got our two drivers, we've got our car ready for, for development. Uh, we will be going through a lot more of this in a lot more detail in future Frontier Unlocked. Uh, but I just want to say firstly a massive thank you to you guys for, for joining me, for sort of uh, steering me through my, my first uh, livery creator and uh, the, the team, creator team um, section of the game. I am unbelievably excited to see players uh, unleash their inner child when they, when they start uh, creating this and, and really bringing their passion for F1. Uh, to life. So that's your first look at Create a Team. Uh, as we mentioned at the at the start there, the game assets and ratings out final. So you might have noticed Valtteri Bottas sneaking into my uh, livery and logo editor there. He clearly just really wants to be part of the team. Valtteri, I am always here for you if you need me.